hi everyone and welcome to gist of tv guys this video i have decided i mean i feel like i make a lot of these decisions without you guys um affirmation so for that reason in the comment section if you have any topic anything ever that you want me to cover uh, uh, you see that right here yeah? come your queen of fun but yeah if you have anything you want me to talk about in the comment section please 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 help me put that there and i will definitely do something on it but for this video i have taken it upon myself to give you a story or to give you yeah basically a story that i think will interest you because it is the rave of the moment 2023 as a year has come for nigerians with a lot of here and there and it seems like the year just started but there is enough drama going on and this time it's in the political world we are now in the season of election in nigeria where a lot of persons are saying stay in your houses be very careful don't go out at night and there is a lot of speculation that some terrible things might happen to some nigerians if they are not extremely careful because some of our politicians are believed to be diabolical for lack of a better word please guys note that everything i'm going to say in this video are not a reflection of this channel or of my opinion these are basically hearsays on the internet and what i have read thank you so much for understanding that and having said all of those things i am going to go right into the video of the day and honestly despite all of the drama i just did this video is basically a biography of one of the political aspirants one of the presidential aspirants in the country i'm not about to say anything about this man that you most likely already do not know about and if you do not know about it you're welcome because i'm here to help you read this man like a bible i'm here to help you study him like your school books <laughs> all right so i'm going to be talking about peter obi the presidential candidate on the, the party lp labor party yeah is their flag bearer and it was put down and nominated unanimously when it defected to that party after initially declaring his election on the platform of the people's democratic party where he has been since 2014 when he left office as the anambra state governor so before i get into his personal life before i get into his education before i get into his wife and his children and what have you i'm going to start with his political career because that is the peter obi we know the man who says he's here to redeem nigeria the man who has said that if he does nothing if elected as president we should feel free to come for him but how are we going to come for you you're going to be protected by battalions of your you know what do you call them now your entourage your whatever persons you have around you how are we going to stone you mr president but yeah i'm going to talk about his political journey and basically this man we didn't know nothing about him in the world of politics until 2003. Can you imagine when under the platform of Afghan, when under the All Progressive Grand Alliance, Abga, she, the E rather, decided that he wanted to run for the position of the governor of Anambra State. By the way, he's from Onisha in Anambra State and he was born in July of 1961. He's currently 61 years old. Anyways, he ran for office and he was not declared the winner. Chris Ingige of the People's Democratic Party was declared winner and Peter Obi went to court. He was like, nah, I won this election fair and square so in 2006 that is three years after march of 2006 it was declared the winner the rightful uh, rightful you know winner of the 2003 election and so it was declared governor and it was sworn into office that was march of 2006 but by november of 2006 peter obi was impeached by the people of his state and uh, um his deputy virginia became the first female governor in nigeria when she succeeded in following his impeachment but she was there for about four or five months because by february of 20, 2007 you know when he was impeached back in 2006 he went to court again by 2007 he was reinstated his impeachment was you know overturned and so he returned as governor in february but then by may of 2007 they had to hold a general election because then the three the four years tenure that should have been counting since 2003 was coming to an end so by june of 2007 
Shile Baijia, by June, July 2007, he was out of office and Andy Uba became the governor of Anambra State. Peter Obi again went to court. This man likes due process, my dears. He went again to court to say that my four years was not running. Chris did three of my four years. I have to, you know, start office from 2007 until 2010 and the court upheld that and said andy guy psh, give that seat peter obi has not finished his four years tenure so he returned again in 2007 as governor of anambra state still on the the platform of all progressive grant alliance and by 2010 his tenure expired and he ran for a second time legitimate second term now in office and he won the election so he remained the governor of anambra state from 2007 until 2014 and then he left office and of course another person is still a governor now now having left office in 2014 peter obi did not stop in his political journey he now defected to the people's democratic party where he was a member until 2022 and it was in pdp 2019 general election he was um chosen to be the running mate of uh, Alaji Atiku Abubaka who ran for presidency still under the platform of the People's Democratic Party but the lost to the current president in Nigeria the sitting president of Nigeria Alhaji Muhammad Buhari GCON GCFR who is going to be ending his term soon in a few months which is why i'm doing this video in the standard right anyways um he lost they lost that and that was it in 2022 he came again to declare his intention to become the president of nigeria he picked up a ticket on the pdp but his boss or the person that was supposed to be his boss i took up back i was also running a lot of persons were running and it seemed like his chances of winning the primaries was really slim so he defected to labor party and when he went there they unanimously agreed they just put him down as their presidential candidate and he's been the flag bearer since then now peter obi's um should i say his campaign thingy has been seen as one that is populist because it's one that is for the people against the elite you understand that kind of narrative that is what peter will be portraying saying he's here for the masses and all of those things and it's just like it's just like you know <laughs> i don't know how to even describe it but it's more of a free the masses kind of movement and it seemed like it's been working for him so far his fans his favorite people that are campaigning for him are called obedience and so far that's it's about his political journey so far honestly the obedience are saying peter obi for president is going to do us amazing and other persons for the other parties you know other political aspirants are saying we want our faith to also be the president of the nation so until then we don't know who is going to be president let's just see fingers crossed yes anyways uh, moving on from that i'm going to talk again about his educational journey i mean i just finished talking about his political journey so far i mean that is what we know but it still amazes me that this man has come from nobody knows him and that is one of the things that people still say like this man does not really have a sound background in politicking as it were so I don't know how that is going to work for him at the end of the day. You can be the judge of that in the comment section. If you're, if it's your fave, just let me know in the comment section. It's free here, free zone. Be respectful though. Thank you. Okay, so let's move about. Let's talk about his educational journey. Let's talk about family life. Let's talk about every other thing concerning this 61-year-old man. He was born, like I mentioned, in July of 1961 in Onisha. Um, that was the southeastern region, but present-day Anambra State. He attended the Christ the King College and for his university education, he attended the University of Nigeria, Unsuka, in Enugu State, where he studied philosophy. He graduated with a Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy in the year 1984 and then he moved on from that he attended the lagos business school did their chief executive program he's also attended Harvard's business school he is um is actually an alumnus of a lot of school london school of economics this man is well read actually he's really well read and he, he held really notable positions in his time or as a, a corporate worker 
um, is the youngest chairman of Fidelity Bank ever. He's also taken some executive positions in some other banks and all of those things. And he's also a trader. According to Peter Obi himself, he says he was born into a family of traders. So he did a lot of trading growing up. He's more of a businessman. That is how he was able to amass his wealth. Because a lot of persons have asked, what do you do? How did you amass your wealth? Of course, you have some you know, corporate positions, but that's not enough for you to be as wealthy as you are. So he says he's a businessman, has businesses that he's run, that he's still running. And that is how he's making his money. And a lot of Nigerians choose to believe him because he has at least some um, things to back it up, some certificates, some evidences, hard proof evidences, hard proofs, excuse me, to back up his claims as a businessman. So I guess that goes. Anyways, he's married. He's married. He's a Catholic man man and he has two beautiful children who are also doing well for themselves and honestly guys i think that concludes it concerning peter obi his political journey so far his um, background as a businessman his education honestly a lot of things about peter obi can actually be traced and i think that is one of the things that he thinks gives him I think I'm, I'm, I'm taking a lot of puns in this movie p-u-n by the way you know i'm rhyming words and i'm feeling myself i'm feeling fly anyways um he has um evidences to back up most of his claims so it seemed like all is well with him and all is good with him him. But if you want to know more about Peter Obi, keep it locked on this channel because um, subsequently I'll be doing some other exposés concerning um, presidential aspirants, presidential candidates, Peter Gregory Obi and his journey so far. But if you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up to show that you do. Share with everyone around you like this video if you do like it, if you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe if you're yet to do so. And guys, you can become a part of this community by also hey, be a part of this community. Yes, you can join our plans and that will be really amazing. You'll get access to exclusive content, things that people do not know, um, you know, things that are happening that we really can't put out there. You'll be one of the elites getting exclusives so please yes 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 make that a part of your plan this new year would love to have you as a big big time member of this community become a family member and that would be so amazing it would be amazing to have you i look forward to seeing you there i'll see you in the next video though guys until then take care of yourselves and bye bye